The Russians suffered a great defeat in the most important city. Kiev officially announced, Moscow sent the Azov Regiment to control the region. Big news from the critical city of Bakhmut. Russia's trying every possible way to drag Belarus into a land war. Russian troops suffered a major defeat on the Eastern Front. Eight assembly areas of Russian army were destroyed. According to published reports, Russian casualties have reached the highest number of recent times. After the critical city, explosions occurred repeatedly in areas located in Russian cities. Russia can't stop the attacks. Russian media has now started accusing Putin and the generals. Problems within the Kremlin erupt one by one. Russian generals began to confess. Major lack of coordination in Russian armed forces. Reactions to Moscow are growing like an avalanche. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky evaluated the developments regarding the war that has been going on for about 10 months between Russia and Ukraine in the video message he shared at night, stating that they met with the officials of the defense forces today and discussed the situation on the fronts where the conflicts continue. Zelensky stated that Russia's intense attacks against Ukraine continue pointing out that Russian army continues to carry out severe attacks especially to seize the city of Bamit in the Donetsk region, Zelensky said, Bamit's direction is of key importance. The city is completely under our control. The Russians, who did their best not to leave a single wall intact there, realized that they could not win the war, and said, the land we achieved a great victory in the operation, he said noting that they continued to fight against Russian forces at other points of the front. Zelensky said, We are gradually reducing the potential of the Russians throughout the Zaporoz High region, the Kherson region in general in the south. We are gradually reducing the strength of the Russian troops. It has clearly decreased. On the other hand, Zelensky stated that they also discussed the security situation at the borders of Ukraine with Russia and Belarus, adding, the protection of the border with both Russia and Belarus is always our priority. We prepare according to all possible defense scenarios. Since Russia could not win the war and lost critical areas one by one, it wants to involve Belarus directly in the war. In the past weeks, Russian President Putin held a meeting with Lukashenko to meet with Belarus. As the talks continued, it was announced that Russian army has deployed new armored vehicles and tanks on the territory of Belarus. Ukrainian intelligence believes that Lukashenko and Putin are planning a joint attack on Ukraine. At this time, the number of experienced soldiers in the Russian army has decreased significantly. However, the Belarusian ground forces did not lose any soldiers as they were not directly involved in the war. In addition, Belarus has learned great lessons from the war between Ukraine and Russia. Despite Lukashenko's support for Putin, Belarus does not want to go directly to war. Because the Belarusian people say that going to war with Ukraine will cause big problems. Belarusian people say that if war is declared on Ukraine, protests and a major civil war will begin. As you know, Belarus and Ukraine are two neighboring countries and have a long land border. Many Ukrainians have acquaintances and relatives in Belarus. Likewise, most of his acquaintances in Belarus live in Ukraine. For this reason, the statements of the two dictators do not cause a war to start. In the first days of the war, Belarusian railway workers completely stopped Russian shipments and postponed Russian attacks for two months. Kiev has repeatedly stressed that measures should be taken at the border with Belarus, because there is also an audience supporting Lukashenko. We also remember that Russia carried out attacks through Belarus. But I do not think that Belarusian ground units will be directly involved in the Ukrainian war. Even Lukashenko is aware that Putin has lost the war, pointing out that there were serious power cuts as a result of missile attacks on energy infrastructures in Ukraine by Russian forces on December 16. Zelensky announced that electricity service was provided to nearly 9 million people without electricity. Zelensky, who stated that they started working to organize an international conference on the summit for peace in the winter with Ukraine's initiative, invited the leaders of the partner countries to attend the summit. As the negotiations continued, Ukraine army resumed its operations after the city of Bakhmut. 
The Ukrainian army has been attacking the industrial zones on the Russian border with missiles for about eight days. According to the statements made in the morning, the Ukrainian army attacked the Russian industrial facility in the Belgorod region with a HIMARS missile. As a result of the attack, the industrial facility became unusable and the transformers in the region were damaged. The repeated attacks of Ukrainian army on industrial facilities greatly reduced the strength of Russian army on the Eastern Front. The Russian army is currently fully focused on launching attacks with artillery and rocket systems. But the outbreak of ammunition problems greatly reduced the number of these attacks. In the future, there will be a further reduction in the number of missiles and artillery fired by Russian army. Moscow now wants to enter a period of great preparation because 150,000 new Russian soldiers joined the army. But Moscow cannot supply enough equipment and weapons to so many Russian soldiers. In this process, Moscow wants to slow down the war with the winter months and enter a period of great preparation. It is almost impossible for Russia to produce a large number of missiles again. But in a long preparation period, Russian army can produce a large number of ammunition and military equipment. In addition, Russia has started to make new studies for the complete solution of logistics problems. But the coordination in Russian army was completely broken. The fact that Russian commanders are unaware of the army affects the front a lot. Confessions of confession came from Russian commander today. Russian commander Igor Gurkin made statements such as confession. Speaking about Ukraine war on his Telegram channel, Gurkin underlined that Russia has suffered a strategic defeat. Russian commander stated that the Moscow forces did not have the slightest idea about the ultimate strategic objectives of the current military operation. According to the news in Newsweek, Gherkin said in his statement that this situation may cause the collapse of the political regime in Russian Federation and even the state. While these statements of Gherkin fell like a bomb on the Russian agenda, many social media users commented on the statements made on social media that it will anger Putin. Gherkin, who was sentenced to life imprisonment in the Netherlands for his role in the MH17 disaster, which was shot down in eastern Ukraine after taking off from Amsterdam in July 2014 and resulted in the death of 298 people, has long been critical of the Russian army. It is known that Russian army accused him of failing to achieve its strategic goals in Ukraine. According to the Dutch media, Gherkin, who was detained on his own initiative in August on his way to the front near the city of Kharsan, was sent back to Moscow. The Netherlands is asking Russia to extradite Igor Gherkin for his role in the MH17 disaster. On the other hand, many retired and Russian commanders who have come to the end of their duties also criticize Putin, Russian army and Kadyrov very harshly, because the losses of the Russian army at the front reached really high rates. This situation shows that Russia has fallen into a great complacency and has not completed its education. Over the years, the Russian army entered the region it wanted and took control of the region without encountering any resistance. Surrounding countries noted that Russian army and military equipment is very strong. For this reason, Moscow and Russian army carried out many illegal attacks and operations without encountering any resistance. Russian army faced a regular army for the first time in years. Russian troops were crushed by the outstanding success of Ukrainian army and aid to Ukrainian army. Tension continues to rise, 